scaling. It's either now Esports picks the Corki or Noel picks up the Corki. One thing that's good about this though is that Corki could go to Golden Beat, Corki could go to Noel. It's gonna be okay for them to just give it up if ever now is just gonna be liking it. Golden Beat could still go for the Zoe too. So if ever now Esports wouldn't be able to ban that, that is gonna be expected here from the side of BRU. And Mitsuda going back to the Lucian that he used during the last game just to really fight against the score game the mid lane. Hmm. Okay. I th I think this is better than the Ezreal. Uh, Ezreal Lucian that they had in game number one. But BRU really preparing for everything here. They pick up the Red Necton simply because the Shen is available. They're willing to let this be picked up by now. So East Force because we have an answer. We have seen in the previous days how teams are able to answer the Shen pick with the Renekton. Even the Camille was left open by, by Nigma Galaxy at one point, right? That's how how Renekton is just so superb with this one. And BRU now having the chance to ban away Zowie's champions because they didn't first pick it this time around. Yeah. So far. With what we're seeing, Yumi is also gonna get banned because it's also could be a switcheroo again that could really go to what the Jets would Ooh. never BRU is gonna go about it. Banning the Garen on their side, they don't want to see that in their favor. Ajax is available for the side of Nazi Esports if ever they want to give Calm a really good weak side laner that could really go uh, the distance onto the late game. But, Whoa. wait. No, 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 no they're no, not no, gonna no, take no, that. No, That's no, a great no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We, we kind of, that kind of got into our head a while ago. Yeah, Wukong, <laughs> it makes more sense, of course. They should take it away. Hey, take it up. Surprised that Zalfi. Shen isn't getting picked though. It's a Renekton. It's a Renekton. Completely neutralize mm -hmm. the Shen combo. Maybe though, BRU. B BRU is be gonna one. take it. Yeah. Yeah. All just could take it to their side, but oh? they're just gonna go to the Olaf again. Because if oh, they man. don't have any Garen, yeah, the Olaf is gonna be a good pick. Because a while ago they didn't pick it because the Garen's the much injustice is just too threatening. <laughs> and right now, no one's there to threaten the uh, the Olaf pick. We, we saw the Lucian Ezreal trying to deal damage onto the Olaf a while ago of Valus. It didn't work. This time around, he's going to be more safe at accessing the backline of Naos Esports, piercing through with this lesser damage, lesser DPS. At most, it's going to be the Mega Inferno one that's dealing the big damage here for Naos Esports. But either way, he has to sustain for it. He has the isolation. And Cold and Feet gets his Zoe again. Almost the same composition as what they had in game one on the side of BRU. And one thing that's good about this, though, for the side of now is esports. Jax and Renekton has always been deemed as a Renekton, Renekton favored matchup every time. Autonus has been saying this a lot, but with how Counter Strike works, if the Ruthless Predator misses, that is when Calm could just really snowball mm -hmm. on the top side. And that's one of the things that's good about the Jax pick here on this matchup. Even if it loses the lane, as long as he gets to the late game, Jax is gonna be having a better time. Yes, Jax hasn't been really great so far in the meta, but people love Jax because he's a good weak side laner. You don't really need to invest a lot in a Jax and he will perform. And if you win the solo lane, right, you can easily push tower as well. One of the fastest tower pushing champions here in the field of Wild Drift is the Jax. And that's like what you mentioned. Uh, counter so I can easily counter the Ruthless Predator. It's one of the reasons why Renekton mains like Autolus has uh, a bit of a challenging time against Jax in particular. It's because it's so hard to deal with the Jax when he uses the counter strike. It's either you walk away or you try to sustain the damage so that you can land uh, waiting for that Ruthless Predator chance. Yeah. One thing that's good about this though is that if ever they would be able to make this composition work because most of the time Jax throws off a composition's identity every time just because he's just a good pick if you ask me just because of the fact that he could really get to the late game but if they would be able to get this into a point in where maybe 15 minutes to 16 minutes that they're not that far ahead on the side of BRU Nas might have a chance here Mirmo we are going to be looking at him a lot right now. Mitsu is doing a really good job actually into the mid lane matchup against Noel this time around. A while ago, he was the one 
uh, being mm -hmm. bullied a little bit by Noel in game number one. This time he's controlling. I mean, it's basically the same situation here for Vape and What the Jest. The only difference is that Vape doesn't have the Alistar this time around to push Area What the Jest effect. into the race. <laughs> I like what this is called. It's called Area of Effect. Area Most of the effect. time they put the, the skill name, right? But yeah. it's Area <laughs> of Effect, which is really funny. <laughs> I, I just love the, uh, the, the production here. Uh, actually, the back end here of this tournament. They're always witty as well on those uh, graphics as well. Just like yeah. Leone and Yasuo. They named it Elder Brother better than Younger Brother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that was funny. That was funny. I remember that time though. <laughs> but we don't see much of the Yone right now just because of the attack speed nerfs that they got during patch 4.2a. And it's a big, big downfall for a Yone. And that's one of the biggest uh, stats that the Yone needs. And now, not going to be seeing it a lot. And we're seeing a lot more of this. Bruisers getting picked most of the time in APAC teams. And honestly, it's okay. To not see the mm -hmm. Yone most of the time in jungle. Yeah, even Valdus, right? That was one of his favorite champions and That's one true. of his best champions as well. But even without the Yone, he's being able to perform an incredibly high level because of this Olaf and because of the setups that Wuta just always provides and the rest always follows. They're right, very independent people in a group that is moving as a unit. That's one of the things that I love about BRU right now. Now's Esports still having some troubles in some of their lanes again this is their weak side calm though being helped by Rafe is a good sign yeah remember they don't have a honey fruit here on this side of the map if that hit that would hurt now more more than it would hurt vru for sure yeah because the, the damage from valdus just gonna pop the ragnarok when that happens and easily bash through right low hp as well on calm he cannot afford to follow up and since the there are three engine. people there you, you cannot afford to do that Right now, now Esports is lingering down into the bottom lane, especially with Zalpi there. Just waiting if ever this Zoe actually becomes overextended. Well, this taking a long time here on the top side, though. They really do want to take a kill here. Pushes them back, forces the Ragnarok to get popped. But now Esports just really had a good time there. Good dredge slide from Rafe. Mm -hmm. Just uh, try to bait out some of the utilities here of BRU and then wait for an opportunity. But given the vision that BRU has on... Uh, uh, on on the lane well it's very difficult for Zaupi to actually initiate from there they don't need to honestly right now i, I think the main objective of Zao's esports should be just play things safe not afford to give any kills to pru as of the moment wait for this first team fight and then let mirmo have the influence for the aoe as long as they don't let valdus scale or rather snowball the game that is going to be easy enough to stop this Valdus from doing anything. Because at least if he pops the Ragnarok, if he, if it doesn't really do much for him, it's still going to be good for BRU. Because at least in the late game, they do have a lot of champions that could really have good damage. Remember, it's a, it's a Jax, a Lucian, and a Ziggs. Late game, you're going to be expecting damage from these champions. Patience play here by Rafe. But what the Jazz is here, they need to be extra careful. Zaupi is closer than Valdus in the area so maybe he can start uh, going there after picking up his red buff but now esports needs to be extra careful mm. it's only a minute away from the first objective spawn if they give any gold any kills here to BRU that's going to negatively affect their positionings later on I can see a fight top side though with Zalpi being here and also Valdus clearing up his grump this could be a really good buy for BRU but because there's the presence of Zalpi in the area, it's still going to be hard. So that's why they need to be careful. And remember, it's a Cyclone and a Counter-Strike. It's not easy to take down these targets if they try to dive this. Mm -hmm. The area is warded though. So both players or both teams have vision on their enemy junglers. So that's going to call off the full gank there into the top lane. They're just going to be preparing for the first objective. Zalpi needs to be extra careful. Just don't use the Blast Cone. Oh, oh he does. He actually did. Zapis is gonna go in. Here comes the damage from the side of BRU. Even not using the package forces the flash away from Zalpi. That's big. And now before they start this, they can just take down this ward and Zalpi wouldn't be able to Ouch. contest this. That damage from Golden Feed. That was scary. And now because of that, the timing is enough for BRU to even take this Mountain Drake in their side. Unfortunate for Zalpi. Because they had the vision already into the top side river. Now they, oh, they are no. gonna be able to use this RH and take the dragon. Massive oh. swing again. That's a tower down. Tower down. Priority on the side of BRU. They can go for this even if 
Pepper is not in the area. They can buy some time. Because he has already recalled. He can go for this. Salpi needs to take this very fast. But that's not possible. Well, Mitsuda is in the area. Maybe they can go for the sprint here. They're going to try. Gonna go for the damage. Ragnarok's going to be here. Going to go with the back line. Won't be able to steal it. But late go. The damage is going to be there. Now it's going to be here. And they are going to be able to take down the members of PRU. It's going to be going good. Zephyr is going to fall down. Three? Even with Cold and Meek. A lot of HPs are falling on the hands of PRU. And Cold and Feet in the world weren't able to deal the damage what? that they needed. What a bouncing bomb from Mirmo. And they won a 4 for 0 on that fight. 4 for 0. After a bad start in the topside river a while ago, they were able to redeem themselves this time around and turn the gold into their side as well as take the first dragon. Let's check that one more time. This is why the Ziggs now is a big a, a, a big change here for now esports because the Mega Inferno Bomb dealt a lot. Good call by now yep. esports as well. Going on to the Dragon, focusing on it, and then the damage went through. Able to take down the Olaf as quickly as possible. Props to Mitsuru as well. Able to kite away so that Thipper was overextended. The damage was surreal coming in from Mirmo. And the bouncing grenade. That was really sad for Golden Kid. He thought he was safe, but no, yeah. he wasn't. He was about to get a good panel, panel star there, Pepper, but it wasn't possible enough. BRU losing during that fight was a good swing of goal for the side of Nazi Esports. Even if they take the tower in the mid lane, they still have advantage right now. A 1k gold advantage, and that's a big one for the side of Nazi Esports. BRU needs to think back on what happened that fight. It was such a good fight. Valdez being focused was the key for them to win. Mm -hmm. And right now, Nazi Esports would be able to take a tower into the bottom lane. That will help them get more gold. BRU trying to answer back into the top side because that is the weak lane here of Naos Esports. Sending three people, maybe even four, as Valis is also passing their way there. Be able to get a stun. Explosive cast pushes them back. Great position for the side of BRU. But Tom has Counter Strike. Ragnarok is going to be stopping that from happening. And still, BRU was able to get a 1 for 0. Wave might be able to get one good dredge line here. Didn't even flash in. Naos Esports, four members are here top side. Want to answer back? They want a tower. They know that they don't have any oh. summoner spell or ult available here to defend the tower. But the battle stars are just a big problem here. Ooh. Stops them from going for the push. Could have been a good push for the side of Naos because of that tower in the bot lane. BRU are just playing the macro game against them. It's so good. The macro plays of BRU always on point. At most, that is just the one mistake that Barry had earlier into the team fight, but are able to recover again. Look at the gold. A while ago, it was all almost going 2,000. Now it's neutralized by BRU. Yeah. Now BRU wants. Oh man, look at that damage from that one paddle side with that Steven oh, Jumble Bubble because Valdus is going to go in. Even with the flash, it's going to chase him down. That's Valdus taking one more to his belt. A righteous enchant, man. It's an easy chase for Valdus all the time. But he has to be oh, extra wait. careful. Has no Ragnarok. Might be really scary, but because they know Thipper is in the area, they didn't commit to anything. Tower on the top side is going to be taken down. Three towers down to the side of now Esports, and that's not going to be good. Similar to, to all the games, actually, that occurred. Well, top side, Dominus. Biggie Ooh. Tanky gonna go in even with the Ruthless Predator! So much damage gonna be chasing down Mitsuru, it's gonna fall down. Still, in order to get the advantage, very smart of them to play like that. Zalp is gonna be able to get taken down. Low HP onto Valdus. They want to go for more, oh. that's gonna be it. Almost getting the kill, but because of the shield, they were able to fight the will. Wants to go for a double kill. And Watt is just gonna die here, but it's okay because BRU got what they came for. I was gonna flash in, they got the kill. That's a still a big advantage on the side. Oh no, that's too aggressive, Palm. He's gonna die right here. What a great satchel charge. What? He'll be able to get the kill. Mirma's gonna be chasing down by Noel. He's doing a lot of damage. Bouncing Bob's not gonna hit, and that's an ace for BRU. Better team fighting again by BRU. We saw a lot of hesitations coming in from Naos Esports, and that allowed BRU to get the better end of that fight and increase their goal lead now to 2,300. Mitsuru gonna be here, but I don't think he is gonna be able to take down Noel simply because. You know, Valkyrie is available here. Let's check that one more time. I actually thought that Zapi got obliterated. But fortunately, he was actually able to step back. But the Thipper, big though. thing here is Tipper. Wow. The confidence. He didn't care. <laughs> he didn't care. He knew he was going to be dead. So he dealt the damage anyway. Flashed in. And that allowed them to actually take down Mitsura faster than it should have been. Zapi in the area also. Oh. oh. 
Zach is gonna be there. Stops him with explosive cast. Takes the Drake anyway. Zappy slow HP might fall down, but it's still gonna be good for this side though. Now C Sports might be able to take this down. A lot of members of VR are low HP. Zappy's gonna fall with Ignite, but no, he's gonna survive. Mr. Flash in. But here comes what the chest with the body slam. It's not gonna be enough. BRU! are still going to fall down with a 3 for one in favor of Nazi Sports. Oh man, they give up the Dragon, but they get more kills here for Nazi Sports, and that is, I would say, a worthy trade. They need to come up with ways to win the fights, and the position this time around was much better, allowing Mitsura to kite. Mirmo as well was able to deal the necessary damage, and this is what we have been asking for Naos Esports. This is a well a really really close game i would say the goal lead isn't increasing towards 3000 at most it's jumping up and down between these two teams and they're not giving an inch towards each other i'm loving this fight though i'm loving this performance from both of our teams so now it's still not giving up even if they gave two games to the hands of bru they're not stopping and performing well with what happened during this fight so far they have answered the problem they are not getting bursted down easily by the members of BRU just because of the presence of the Wukong, just because of the presence of the Jax. And Mirmo, with the safe play from the Mega Inferno Bombs, has been helping them out so well. And now, how are they going to be able to find the solution in order for them to get an ace or maybe get this objective, this Baron, in favor of themselves? Actually, I think it's through Calm. He was the one providing the, uh, the safety for Mitsura and Mirmo as well. The counter strike is just well established and they can also deal with Baldus toe to toe and that's why they were able to take him out most of the time props to Baldus though still getting the sec the second dragon for themselves so that they can equate or equalize the number of dragon stacks that they have against Naos esports if had it been Naos esports dragon then the scaling would have been better yeah goes in with explosive cast pushes Wraith away they like use the flash for him to survive that was scary for Wraith very very scary but at least it's not a kill Calm this time around would have a better standing chance against Dipper because he has the Hall Breaker and this Renekton does not. Yeah. Now what they can do, here you. They're looking for a chance to them to engage for Valdus. But so far it hasn't been really well whenever Valdus engages for this team. That's why What the Chess has always been key for them to win this fight. They need a good pick off from What the Chess's explosive cast and that could easily take the fight in their favor. But now it's not gonna let that happen. Looks like Calm wants to go towards top side this time around to open up that outer turret. BRU answering back though. I think they they they're starting to get interested in taking this Baron. Look at the vision that they have established on the red side jungle here of Daupi. It's well established. Fortunately, Wraith is going to be able to spot it out and clear it up. Mitsur is also oh, here though. Explosive cast again. Damage shot gonna be there. Mitsuru was able to relent this pursuit away. But here comes the Sleepy Trouble Bubble. They have the stasis. Zephyr has the stun. He wants to go to the back line, but they still got the kill on Wraith. And that's a man advantage to the side of BRU. Oh, team fighting is just so difficult for Naos Esports whenever Calm is not around because you, they don't have that zoning counter strike. But fortunately, it's not going to call for BRU to actually start the Baron. But yeah, they're going to go in. The damage is going to be there. They got the vision, and Mirmo is going to be dead. Mitsuru is going to be their next target. But Zappy's trying to run away. But that's members. Three members are down. Zappy still wasn't able to do damage against them. They're diving in. The Viking is mad. And with that, that's going to be the end oh! for Zappy. And they're going to go for the Baron. Calm is going to try to take down this bottom lane. But it's not going to be enough. He tries to go in with a counter strike, but he's not going to be taking down any towers right here against. Stepper, he's just gonna be defending this and that Baron is gonna be taken for free. Mm, free Baron for BRU after the genius call there. Sneaky move to go around the uh, jungle camp here of Naos Esports to catch them off guard. Calm, he's just gonna get taken out. Oh, jumps away. He's not gonna he's survive dead. this, right? Yeah, he flashes away. Has the barrier. What the Jets? Oh no! Goes in for the explosive cast, slows him down and ignites no. him. Fades away! Unfortunate there by Calm. I actually thought that he would be able to stay alive. Now, with the Jax dead, this is quite timely for BRU. They can just take this out without any confession from Naos Esports. That's an easy takedown for BRU. This is going to be hard for Naos Esports now. At least it's not a triple dragon. But they still have the Baron in their favor. They can take down the bot lane. People are scattered around. Bitsura is still pushing the top side. At least he took a tower down. These gonna be needed if they need to defend this third tier turret. They need everything right now. 
to defend their base because BRU has the Baron, but it looks like they are going to be able to take that tower into the mid lane without any problems whatsoever. They don't have the wave clear simply because the Baron buff is negating most of the damage. Face down the red carpet, bottom lane, want to get some kills for themselves, what the Jets has not been hit, and this is going to be the turnaround for the side of BRU, even without explosive gas, it's not going to be needed, they want to go for a push, but this Baron buff is just helping their case. BRU low HP in the bottom side. Now these boys would be able to regenerate before anything oh. happens. So he's gonna run away. The but burst slam. Zappy's gonna be dead. Now these boys wants to defend this more. It's a 4v5. Not a fight that they want to go for. This is gonna be good for BRU. They're just taking the tower down. They're tanking it. That's gonna be taken down, and BRU is just gonna run away. Oh, now Esports got a little bit too greedy there, especially for Zalpi. I thought he had a good angle to engage on the PRU, but they were more prepared than he is and quickly bursted him out. Now 7,000, almost a 7,000 goalie. Let's check the replay one more time because it's just so clean here for BRU. The way they are playing right now, they're not being too overconfident. They're not being too over aggressive as well. They well timed the engage of Zapi. Everyone suddenly turned on to him. Body slams from what the chests are so perfect though. This direction that he uses is also the quick bump that happens whenever you use the body slam. It's always positioned well, and that's like oh man, uh, what the chess. Please give this man a medal. He is the medal, reason why it's so hard for now to do anything against VRU. And now esports might need to ban this Kragas. Come Please. next game. Please they need ban to. It. They have to. Or take the first this... pick and take the Gragas yourself. Uh, yeah. I think that's that would be better. That's the only way. That's the only way. Oh, man. What the Jess is so good with this champion. And now 30 seconds, they need to make a choice. Now it needs to think about what they want to not be taken. Elder Drake or Baron. They should go for the Elder Drake for sure. <laughs> I mean, Elder Dragon to just... I mean, they're all—they're basically winning the team, all the team fights right now. Given the state of the game, given the dragon stacks, and given the gold that they have, but if they take this elder dragon, it's basically game over for now's esports. And contesting this would be the biggest challenge as well, because nobody can reach Noel, nobody can reach Golden Key. They're having a hard time, even with frontline. Yeah. Close to gas again, the rave is left alone, but Zappy's gonna go to the back line. No follow up whatsoever from the side of now. See, Sports Cobb goes into the back line too. He's gonna be left alone here, but he's so tanky. Baldus might fall down. This is gonna be a good fight for now. See, Sports, but look at Dipper. Goes in, doesn't go for the right target. Stasis is gonna be there. He's gonna buy some time. Dredge Line's not gonna hit. Dipper's gonna fall down. And this is now these Sports playing a good fight. BRU with one member down. Now, see, Sports could try to take this Elder Drake fight to themselves. Calm had a really good plan onto the backside. Force BRU, Noel, and Golden Feet to not deal damage onto they the back side of Nas Esports. They need to contest. This is the time. Perfect angle. Time. 2k HP, explosive cast, perfect timing. Body slam from what they just stopped what? Them from taking it. And that is good. BRU is just gonna snowball. Zap is gonna fall. Ravi is gonna be next. They're gonna be chasing them down. And BRU is just looking for more. They're looking for more kills. Now Esports tries to tight them out. Mega Inferno Bob is not enough damage, but they still have three members alive. They might have some time, but BRU are trying to be a bit very impatient right here. Mitsura has been oh. hit. Mirmo's gonna fall down. Stasis is gonna be there, but the underdog is gonna be enough for them to get the kill. And Cobb is gonna fall. And that's enough. BRU are gonna take game three and 3 0 is gonna be in their eyes. Oh my lord, what the jest with the interruption cask body slam? Nobody can reach the Elder Dragon. This is ours, says BRU. And now their match point against Na 